I was around the neighborhood and decided to get lunch from Bursay Food Centre. The noise quality while I was filming on my iPhone was horrible. I was using my Apple I- AirPods Pro. It picked up a lot of background noise, so I decided to do a voice over here. This is me doing a walkthrough, uh, but via one of the entrances at Bursay Food Center. As you can see, many tables are cordoned off. There are two stories. This was the first floor, not many customers during lunch. After exploring the first story, I entered via another entrance and went to the second floor. I used to come to this hawker centre during my national service days. Mini stores were not open when I was there that day. As you can see, just like the first story, almost all the tables were cordoned off. Very little customers that day. So even Shenki curry chicken noodle, which has a long queue normally, had not much customers that day. The drink stores and dessert stores were also quiet. The whole hawker centre uh, was really quiet, which is not really the case pre-COVID. Notice a few interesting stores such as J- Jalan Besar Mutton Soup. It had a very herbal taste from what I recall. Jing Yu Yuan Vegetarian can be very crowded in the mornings prior to COVID. And that's it for the walkthrough. Decided to order Shenki curry chicken noodle first. The chicken is cooked separately from the curry soup. I could smell the curry while making my order. Great to see the effort and the skill from this craftsman. The noodles look delicious. Can't wait to try. Ordered from three coconut nasi lemak. The waiting time was about 20 minutes. They do a lot of takeaway orders. I ordered omelette from local delights and some desserts from the dessert store. It was time to head back to share my food on IG Live. Oh, hi. Anyway, uh, today is just a quick sharing of my lunch. I was at uh, uh, Jalan Besar Food Centre, which is at Jalan Besar. So this is... Oh, sorry, I need to show you. This is... uh, My first dish was the curry chicken noodles. And this curry chicken noodles is located, uh, it's called Shenki Curry Chicken Noodle. So this is one of the ni- famous and nice ones. And you can see the top of. The bean sprouts. And the noodle is a great bite. One of the nicer ones around I've done so far. Mm. Chicken is very plush. Soup is on one of the nice ones you can see from here. How, how plush the chicken is. Very nice, very batty. Really, really worth the the effort. Mm. So Jamba is somewhere nearby the lavender MRP at stretch. Uh, somewhere around Boogies, the area between Boogies and uh, lavender, um, and it's a little bit out of the out of the bottom path, but it's definitely one of the nicer places that uh, one can consider. So try it, Shenki curry chicken noodle, really good, really 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 good. Hmm, let me. Anyway, hello, hi. 
Okay, so uh, I, uh, today I'm going to keep it short because you know, I received feedback that some of my um, uh, calls were a little bit long. Uh, anyway, the next one I'm going to share is this one is called Tree Coconut Nasi Lama. Now, Tree Coconut Nasi Lama, you can see over here. This is, you can see the chicken wing, you can see the acha, you can see the peanuts, and you can see this one. Okay. Mm. This one is one of the meal. But you can see that peanut is nice and the uh, mm. the test is the samba as well as the rice. And the samba really kicks a punch. It's really good. Take this. Mm. I'm very impressed. So it's a Shi Coconut Nasi Lama at Jalan Besi Food Center, which is at Jalan Besa. Really good. The chili. It's super spicy and super nice. If you happen to be around the neighborhood at Lavender area at Jalan Basa, do give it a try. It's really really good. So anyway, uh, profiling four dishes. Uh, I just finished the second one. Um, I will now proceed on to the third one. The third one is called Local Delight. Local, uh, probably will send a video or a screenshot uh, once I edit this one, but it's a live broadcast, 0 to 58. So I ordered two types of um, the omelette. So the first one is, this is the oyster omelette. You can see the oysters over here. Oops, sorry. No idea. <laughs> okay. So the white one. The oysters are obviously fresh. I want back, you know. Uh, the second omelette uh, that, that we ordered was called the chai fork omelette. Now, I haven't eaten chai fork omelette for quite some time, and it's difficult to uh, do that at home because of the fire and the skill level. I think the winner for me is the chai fork. I think I love the omelette, I, I mean, the oyster omelette, but the chai fork. For me, uh, it's the one that is the winner. Really good. You see the chapo? How fresh this is. Sorry, that was lot actually. That was really good. Impressive. So, the fourth place I'm going to showcase uh, is called Actually, there's no name, alright? This is a dessert store that has only one number beside 58. So it's a 58 dessert store on the second floor. So it's really impossible for you to, to find a name. There's no name. But it's somewhere in the middle. It's very easy to find. Uh, I used to go there uh, during my national service days. Um, and it's quite a long queue. So uh, I ordered the chendo. You can see the chendo over here. Really good, really fresh. You can see how nice this is. I know people will say that chendo is chendo, but this one, the coconut milk is fresh. Let me try to do a close shot. Mm. So, anyway, I was there at uh, Jalan Basse Food Center. The whole, uh, many of the old times stores uh, were not open. Um, I wish that they were. Uh, those are very traditional hawkers, so they don't really know uh, technology very well. It would be a shame to see them go. So if you happen to be around town area during the weekend or whatever, do go and take a look. It's pretty, really, really something that's quite interesting. 
and uh, I would suggest uh, uh, that you can go there and take a look. I've tried four from uh, four dishes from four different stores, and I uh, would be looking to go there and tr hopefully try the rest of the stores uh, when time permits. So anyway, uh, so that end that's the end of the live broadcast. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.